Can I have a car coming when you try to do something? That pub you can see behind me, if I move out of the way, it's called the Golden Ball now, but it used to be Snatchums. See if the sound's on. Anyway, that was a part of Lancaster's Triangle of Trade. Believe it or not, ships would come up this river. I'll show you the river. Oh, well, it's very foggy. Um, the Triangle of Trade was shackles from Lancaster to Africa, Africans to the Americas, and whatever you could buy in the Americas back to Lancaster. Probably sugar beet, tobacco. Anyway, a friend of mine has. Uh, He's converting his transit van and he said I could document his process of doing his van. So he's putting side windows in, he's, uh, he's lined it with you know, the, the vapour barrier foil if you will. Um, this is the quietest road in the whole area and there's that many cars there, it's unbelievable. Anyway, somebody watching me wonder what I'm doing. I'm a crank, don't worry about it. So, as well as documenting that process in between all my videos, you'll, you'll see, you know, the conversion of a transit van to a camper. Uh, so sadly, they're not working now, but the van was for his work. But, you know, everybody says, oh, get a high top, get a long wheelbase, do this and do that and do everything else. If you haven't got that, you do what you make do with what you've got. And that is what he's got. So that's what he's doing it with. He did say to me, I wish it was a high top and it's not a high top. So he, and he can't buy a high top. So that's what, you know, he's, he's making do with what he's got. Um, but the other thing I wanted to tell you, it's the end of the month. Can you believe it's a month since, since the last video? Ask the con ticky. So we need some questions. Uh, so if you give me some questions in the comments and we'll, we'll do an end of the month video like we do. And uh, I'm sorry it's so foggy. It's a lousy day, it's only two o'clock in the afternoon, believe it or not. Uh, so anyway, that being said, I'll show you the van and uh, we had a bit of banter while we were doing it and uh, you'll see his van. So that's the start of the van. Huh? That's the start of the van, eh? Yeah. So you're going to leave ladder, uh, the, the roof rack on, and then you can have solar panels and all sorts up there, can't you? Yeah, could do. Yeah, yeah I would. Just take my ladders off. Um, I'll see how we get on. Yeah. I've got some nice There is a, a guy, you know, I think they call the boondockers, they have a ladder rack on it and leave the ladders on, yeah. and it doesn't look like a camper. Oh, when they're parked up, it looks like a builder's van. Does it? <laughs> yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, it? yeah. Only an idea for you. I'm trying to find my way around here. Yeah, it's here. Yeah. Oh, you've got lights on. I've got a kind of light on. Oh, see, so you've got the battening on the floor. Are they fixed on floor? No, so what right. we do, we've got that grip belt. We'll do that and we'll stand it up. Let's have a look. This is 25mm installation. Can we see grip fill? So that's what you're going to hold it on, on the floor yeah, with? Yeah. Right. Obviously, everything at the minute it's just been launched in. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's 25mm. Oh, so did, it, did you get that wick, son? Yeah. And is that the peel off stuff I was on about? There isn't any, even your stuff, what you're going to use and peel. Oh, is it not? No. How much so do you use spray glue then? I've got I've got a tin, just for now. I've got a tin in the house. Uh, <coughs> Say hello to YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Uh, <laughs> right, so all, all this stuff, we couldn't get uh, the peel. I, I, what, real, ideally, is just peel Ideally, off. everything's just come on, been trucked in the van. Yeah, that's uh, fair. Well, and well that's how you do it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but... Um, so have you stuck that on the ceiling then? With that spray glue. Yeah, so well, that's start, what... That's your sheeting, so I'm going to start that, obviously. Yeah, well, that's what I must have used. Get these bits, it looks better that um, bulkhead gone as well. Oh, yeah. That's out there, that's got them. So what we've got is a standard transit. Yeah. That's going to be converted to a, to a camper. Yeah. Double bed at back. Yeah. So you're going from the height of... Well, I was thinking that, either there or... Or it'd even higher. A, it'd be a nice fix in there, wouldn't it? Yeah. To that, to that lip there. But then obviously if you mattress, it brings you up here. So yeah, it would do. Yeah. Um, the thing is though, you still, if you look at the front cab of my van, yeah. you've not a lot of headroom in that right, front okay. cab. Right. So you, the amount of headroom you need when yeah. you sleep, you're lying flat, aren't you? Yeah, true, as long yeah. as you can lie on your side and stuff like yeah. that. Um, we've got... But you're going to have a lot of storage space underneath here then, that's good. That's what I thought, well this stuff, this is ideal. I'm yeah, yeah. Normally, 25mm roof battens, they were too big to get in the car. Right. So I've seen these, um, I've got eight pieces, lucky enough, I planned it out, it works, it fits, and I'll just go back and get another one. 
that that should sit obviously when it's clean cut that'll sit there and then your play will go on top yeah in between them me. yeah yeah so, that's uh, ideal so that's that stuff uh, shame it's all dark in winter all the time isn't it i know um to be honest it wasn't didn't cost a fortune pretty happy really tell you what though mate it's uh, it's coming on so these these gaps you've left yeah. These are going to be for your windows, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. So, so one there and one there. there. Yeah, one there. So you've bought a window for each side. I've got my windows, yeah, ready to go tomorrow. Uh, so what sort of price are your windows costing? Um, I think, I think, I think there was a couple hundred quid. I think. What each? Or yeah, for both? For, do you know what? I can't recall how much it was. To be mm. What? Why I'm asking is because the tinted windows and you yeah, can fit yeah. kit with them. Yeah, you can buy them as a. Uh, Kit. People will ask you see how much yeah. are they? Oh. I think I think they vary from two to three hundred pound. Uh, that's a deal. Hello. So this foil yeah. you've got on now. Yeah. You've obviously held it on with spray glue. How much does yeah. the foil cost you altogether? Um, Just to foil it. The foil was fifteen pound ten meter long. Right. So I've got two two. So that's two rolls. Two all rolls. That. Um, your tapes about six pound something. Um, probably cheap, really. I should have got it off online, really. Uh, so you put tape on along there, on the yeah, joints. So what happens there is obviously it, it goes back on its. It's like a recess. It goes oh, back yeah. in its cell. So I thought what I'd do is I put a bit of tape, to, you know, to try and hold yeah, what yeah. heat. You know what, what we can do. Um, it's trial and error, really, at the minute. Well, it's just a slow process, isn't it? Yeah. But it's keeping you busy. That's the thing. Like I say, it was. Um, it's first time we're doing it and you know well yeah it's for everybody isn't yeah, it really yeah and we just you, i think once you do something and then you learn and learn as you go along um yeah but the good thing is everybody else is going to learn off you as well yeah well, so any mistakes yeah, you make you've yeah. got to tell me and then everybody yeah. will, will know what yeah, mistakes so, you're making like I say, I put tape round there round door rubbers and stuff they're easy enough just to pull yeah, off yeah. you know and rub a mallet back on uh, get them as close as possible all right yeah then. so i'll be looking forward to doing windows tomorrow I'm Smithy, that's a Contiki, that's a Snatchim's pub, and that's the River Loon. Stay safe, be lucky, and I'll see you very shortly.